Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Go on before I change my mind. Sir, please! Help! He's going to die! Who? There's no time! Please, come! Just pass under the bridge! Someone! <coughs> Help! <coughs> Help me! Please! <coughs> Help me! Please! Someone! <coughs> Help! <laughs> Help me! Please! <laughs> Someone! Help! Someone! Help! <laughs> Help me! What this knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knobend? You! Because you are one! What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. <laughs> <laughs> 